Are you receiving poor reviews on Amazon due to low quality images inserted in your ebooks? Then in this video we are going to learn how to insert high quality images in your ebooks by following a simple process. Let's get started. So here's how to do this in a few simple steps. First, open the Word document. Here's mine, a sample ebook manuscript with the images inserted in many ways through the insert menu, by directly copying and pasting the file, and by dragging and dropping the file into the Word document directly. After the ebook is ready, save the file by choosing the file type as a web page filtered HTML file. Now go to the location where you saved the HTML and get inside its folder. You will find all the images you had inserted into your ebook here. Notice that the size of these images have been now compressed and not the same if you compare with the original image size, quality and dimensions. We will now replace these low quality images with the high quality source files by copying and pasting it into this folder. And now this is the most important step of this process. Rename it to the same file name that the word processing software has given to this particular image while exporting to HTML, which in this case is image001.png. You can also see that the formats are unchanged. PNG remains PNG and JPEG remains JPEG. Now remember to delete the older low quality images after the renaming process is complete. Now let's compare both the directly inserted image with the now replaced high quality image to check which has better quality. Not only within the document manuscript but also within the Kindle reading apps. I'm going to first show the document here on screen so you can see the change up front. And then we'll upload this to KDP, download the Mobi file and then transfer it to my phone and Kindle Paperwhite to show you how it looks on the devices. Now here's my phone where you can see that uh, I just changed the book covers to differentiate between the old and the new one. The old is the yellow and the uh, new orange is the new one. So let us first see the older. I hope you can see the images now. You may see that these are blurred a bit. Now I'll open the uh, new updated one with high quality image. You can see that these are now clearly visible without those pixel points and blurs showing. It's pretty clear right now. These are extremely useful if you have a lot of screenshots to show in your ebooks. And uh, since it is a good thing for screenshots itself, these are also pretty good for the uh, actual images or pictures that you want to show. So it doesn't blur when even after you zoom in. Let me see if we can show you better. I hope you can see the clarity. Now this is on my Kindle uh, paper white. Uh, the, the left one is the older and the higher right one is the higher uh, quality image. Let me open the older one first. And let's try opening the image. quite blurry I'm not sure if this is being shown on the video now now let me open the uh, high quality image uh, ebook a long press on the image to zoom in and then zoom in further to check the quality 
it's pretty decent on my kindle paperwhite as well i hope this video was useful to you and if you want to learn more such techniques please visit my website shown on the screen you can also optionally subscribe to my email list there i'll see you again in my next video until then keep creating because your success is just around the corner